Are you a fan of the Dragon Ball Super card game? If so, check out QueenCityGaming.com for sealed products, singles, and more. Just use promo code MAFUBAJAR-10 to save 10% off your order every time. Welcome back to the Mafuba Jar, where you've been sealed away for more Dragon Ball Super content. What's up, guys? We are back again with another deck profile. This time, it is based around what is arguably one of the best leaders in the game right now. It is probably, no, it is the most versatile one as well, and that is the Sun Goku leader card from Set 3 Cross Worlds. So this card can be played in a lot of ways in a lot of decks, and it's very, very good. It's had a lot of really great showings in local tournaments and bigger alike. So what makes this card so good? Let's take a look at this one first. So on the unawakened side, the permanent says you can only place up to six energy. So once you hit six, that's it. You can't do anything else. No more charging. Activate main, place one card from your hand in the drop area. If you have no energy, choose two cards in your life and add them to your energy. So basically, when you go first, or on your first turn, you're not gonna charge any energy. You're gonna skip it and go straight to discard one, take two from your life, and put them into your energy. It helps you awaken faster, and it puts you ahead in the energy uh, exchange anyway. Of course, when you get to four life or less, you can awaken, flip it over, and draw two cards. So this card can put you ahead in the game very early, and it'll put you, put you much closer to awakening. Once we awaken on this side of the card, Heightened Evolution Super Saiyan 3, Sun Goku, the permanent, of course, stays the same. You can't place more than six energy. And the auto says, at the end of your turn, choose up to three of your energy and switch them to active mode. That makes this leader card very dangerous. It can be very defensive as well. And of course, when you attack with this card, you can draw a card as well. So, yeah, it doesn't say a specific color energy. It says three of your energy. So you can make that anything you want. Now, you guys already saw by reading the title of the video uh, what this deck is. This is going to be a yellow deck based around apes. So this is pretty common. Uh, there are lots of variations, like I said, of Super Saiyan 3, Goku, but this one is really good. Uh, let's see here. Let's start with the first card. Most yellow decks will play this. Almost all of them, especially if they have more yellow energy than anything else. We got four copies of Youthful Bulma. So it's a one drop. When you play it down, you can draw a card. It's essentially Majin Blue, Majin Boo for yellow. Yeah, Majin Blue, yeah, it's, that's that's pretty much right because it's a blue card to begin with. It's Majin Boo for yellow. Draw a card. Always good to thin out your deck. Always good to have cards in hand. And in this game, there's not really a lot of that, so that's really good. All right, so next up here, we've got three copies of Lord of the Great Apes, King Vegeta. It's a three drop, and when you play the card, you can choose up to one Great Ape with an energy cost of five or less from your deck and add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. So this is the first step towards something that's kind of insane once you have it pulled off, and that is its evolution, which is Absolute Defense, Great Ape King Vegeta. It evolves for three, two yellow, one colorless. So essentially, right after you play this, the next turn you can go right into this. It's got double strike and a couple of permanents that are really good. All yellow Saiyan cards in your battle area gain barrier and it also reduces the combo cost of all Saiyan cards in your hand by one. So anything that says one plus one, 10,000, that's a Saiyan card, you can play it for nothing. Yeah, that's a big deal for sure. So this is a really, really, really just crazy good card. I will put that down there. We play also four copies of Great Ape Prince Vegeta. This is a critical and blocker. When you play or combo with this card, look at up to three cards from the top of your deck, choose one great ape and add it to your hand. If you do so, place one card from your hand in the drop area, then shuffle your deck. This is one of the best apes we have, for sure. Critical is a big deal, and it's a 20,000 power to begin with. That's a big deal as well. It gives you a blocker on board, and you're able to look at the top three cards and get a great ape out of it as well, if you want to. If you don't, well, then you just don't do it, but you have the option to do so. So we play four of those. We also have four copies of Bardock, Will of Iron. This is a just, wow. Yeah, this is this is one of the best ones for sure. Double strike and blocker. 
Uh, the auto doesn't really matter in this deck at all. Actually, it doesn't matter at all, period, because uh, we don't worry about the rest of it for the most part. Um, but if you're able to put this out the way you're supposed to, then you don't have to worry about that. You can actually do it in this deck, but it's not a big deal. During your turn at the end of the battle, after you combo with this card, choose up to one of your Bardock and evolve it into this card. We do play other Bardocks, so it's not impossible, but for the most part, it doesn't get used, especially in other types of Apes decks. But Double Strike Blocker, another one. You get a, a blocker on board and it gains Double Strike 20,000 power. Very solid. Okay, so we have that. And we have this card. So, March of the Great Ape. This is really solid for sure. Especially, it was even more solid when you were playing it with Frieza before it got eroded, because you could play it for two. But, the Activate Main says, choose up to two Great Ape cards with energy cost of four or less from your hand and play them, then draw two cards. So it's like you're playing two apes for four energy and getting the draw of two. It's just such a good card. It really is. I actually saw somebody play this card, didn't put down any apes, and drew two off of it anyway, and he still beat me, so, yeah. Just the draw alone is definitely a big deal. Okay. So, we have the next card. Striker Bardock. It's five energy to play it down. It is a 20,000 power dual attacker, so it attacks twice in a turn. When you play this card, if your leader card is a Saiyan, Look at the top three cards of your deck, choose one and add it to your hand. Then place this card, place the rest, I'm sorry, place the rest in your drop area. So we have a Saiyan as a leader card. Not a yellow Saiyan, but it's a Saiyan. That's all that matters. We're looking at the top three and picking a card out of it and getting rid of the rest. It's essentially a time patrol trunks, except for you have to discard instead of put it on top or bottom. And you get to look at three instead of two. So Striker Bardock for five energy. Dual attack, pretty good. And, you know, this is, like I was saying before, you could, theoretically, play it down, combo with this, and go straight into it. But, we have better options in this deck. And that's the next card we're going to be showing you. This, the 7-drop Desperate Warrior Super Saiyan Bardock, can EX evolve by placing two cards from your hand in the drop area. Uh, it evolves a yellow Bardock with energy costs are five or more. So, this is what we're going to be evolving right into this. Play the five energy, put down the Striker Bardock. You can attack once even if you want to. And then once it resets to the active, you can EX Evolve if you wanted to as well. Yeah. Permanent. If your opponent has six or more energy in rest mode, this card gains 5,000 power and triple strike. Now, they may not always have six energy in rest mode. They may not even have six energy yet. But the big deal here is when a card evolves into this card, choose all of your opponent's battle cards and energy and switch them to rest mode. You're going to force them to combo out of whatever ha they have in their hand that doesn't cost them any energy in order to beat this card. So this is a really good game winning card. Uh, it's got 25,000 power to begin with and <laughs> I, I've played against it and it is brutal, absolutely brutal. Even if they don't get the triple strike and plus 5,000, putting everything in rest mode, energy and battle cards, just devastating. So there's that. We have super combo card, powers combined, Kabito Kai. Our leader card is blue. So we have to play a blue super combo card in order for that to work. And this one is the better of the two for this deck especially. When you combo with this card, if your leader card is blue and your life is at four or less, it gain, this card gains 10,000 combo power for the duration of the turn. Then choose up to one of your opponents, a uh, one card in your opponent's combo area and return it to their owner's hand. If they have no cards left in their combo area after that, you draw a card. So on the offensive turn, when you play this down, you're comboing first, so you're always gonna draw off of it. If you play it defensively and they only played one combo, then you're bouncing that one back and you still get to draw a card. So it's like a Jocko and a Piccolo, depending on how you play it. A Jocko or a Piccolo or both, depending on how you play it. So there's that. The other cards that we're going to be comboing with are No Openings Sun Goku. The auto says during your turn at the end of the battle, after you combo with this card, if your leader card is yellow, play this card in rest mode. Then choose up to one card from your life and add it to your hand. Now, our leader card is not yellow, but... We can pay the one energy cost or the zero energy cost if we have this card out, but by then we probably don't have him out. So we're gonna pay the one energy, combo with this card, 
and we get to take a life from our hand, from our um, a life and add it to our hand. That's what I was looking for. But this card does not stay out because he's not a yellow leader. So essentially, this is going to be your self-awakening card. You can play, you can combo with this, take a life, and then pitch him. And remember, when you play this deck, you're going to be at six life after you start the game, basically. So really, you only have to get hit once and play one of these or play two of these and you're awakened. And a lot of the times, your opponent does not want you to be awakened. A, a An awakened Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku leader card is a dangerous Son Goku leader card. Okay. So, we have four, uh, four other cards here. We have Unbreakable Super Saiyan Son Goku. Essentially, this gives you another super combo set. The reason I say that is because Absolute Defense, Great Ape, King Vegeta has a permanent that says if you combo with, or all of the combo costs of your Saiyan cards are decreased by one. This cost one gives 10,000 power, and it says here when this card evolves into this card or if you combo with this card, you draw a card. So it's plus 10,000 and draw a card. If you have out, the uh, Absolute Defense Great Ape King Vegeta, then guess what? It's free! So, zero cost, plus 10,000, and draw a card. <sighs> that can be really, really good for you. Like we said, it's like giving you eight super combo cards once this card is out. It's nuts. All right. So, the rest of our extra cards are as follows. We have four copies of Planet Vegeta. It's a field card. And it's auto says when you, at the end of your turn, switch all great apes in your battle area to active mode. So if you activated blocker and they didn't kill it, it goes back to active. Or if you attack with it, you can put it back to active at the end of your turn. So that's pretty good. Uh, when this card is placed in your battle area, choose up to one Saiyan with an energy cost of four or less from your deck and add it to your hand and then shuffle your deck. So it also, on the turn that you play it, searches things out. It searches out everything on board except for the Striker Bardock, and the Absolute Defense Great Ape King Vegeta. So, searching is really good with this as well. Oh yeah, it doesn't search the Bulma either, obviously. So it searches out your Lord of the Great Apes King Vegeta, your Great Ape Prince Vegeta, and your Bardock Will of Iron. So it searches out any of those uh, 11 cards. Actually, it also searches this out too, then I think about it. Uh, the No Opening Sun Goku, and this one as well. Well, how about that? Actually, yeah, it searches out more than that. So it can get these out as well. This helps you early. Play down the Vegeta. Get this. Tap the energy. Combo with it. Take a life. Pretty good. All right. We also have four copies of Flying Nimbus, which is a counter card. Negate the attack. Then you can place one yellow card in your hand from your hand in the drop area. If you do so, your opponent can only attack one more time with battle cards for the duration of the turn. A lot of times, uh, players will attack with their leader first. And if you play this Flying Nimbus card when their leader attacks first, they can only attack with one battle card. Smarter players, when they're playing against a yellow deck, will play by attacking with a battle card first to see if you're gonna play Flying Nimbus. And if you don't, they'll go to another battle card. Then they'll go to another battle card if they have it. They usually leave their leader for one of the last ones because then they still have one more battle card after the leader card. That's the way you really wanna play around this card. But we play four of them in here. Since we can activate three energy back once we're, once we're done, it's a guarantee that if we have this in hand, it can be played. So it's solid. Uh, Flying Nimbus is an exceptionally good negate. It can really break down an opponent's strategy and give you an extra turn as well. Also, a lot of times, you'll find yourself in a situation where you can win the game, but let's just say you get Flying Nimbus or negated in some way, shape, or form, we got two copies of Bad Ring Laser as well. It can counter your opponent's counter. You, uh, if you place a yellow card from your hand in the drop area, you negate it. So if you get negated, you can play this, pitch a card, and negate their negate. And the attack will go through. They're going to have to combo out of it or something. So that's the deck for uh, this one anyways. For the Super Saiyan 3 Apes, this is the build that we have put together for you guys. Hopefully you like it. Feel free to change it however you like it. But uh, I feel like it's pretty strong. And uh, we'll see how it does when we go up against whatever Noel decides to build or whatever he built. I don't even know what it was at this point. I think it's Khalifa. Yeah. So we're going up against Khalifa with this. Should be fun. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe for more content here on the Mufuba Jar. And until next time, you have been released.